I found that when I watched the Miyazaki movies, that there is nobody who captures my spirituality as well as he does. It's very interesting and just suspicious. Right? There is uh, something going on in his movies that is very interesting. So, for instance, Mononoke is discussing not only an answer to uh, Disney's simplistic notion of Mowgli, the jungle boy who's raised by wolves, and as soon as he sees people, realizes that he's one of them. And uh, the way in which the uh, moral life in nature is simplified and romanticized and turned into kitsch. Right, it's disgusting in the Disney movie, and he answers to this. You see, uh, he's replaced by Mononoke, this wolf girl who is raised by wolves and who is fierce and dangerous and uh, who cannot be socialized because he cannot be tamed. Mm -hmm. He cannot be part of human society. And you see human society, it's something that is very, very complicated. You see people extracting resources and destroying nature. But the purpose is not to be evil, uh, but to be able to have a life that is free from, for instance, oppression. And violence and uh, to curb death and disease. And you basically see this conflict which cannot be resolved in a certain way. You see this moment when nature is turned into a garden and it loses most of what it actually is and humans no longer submitting to life and death and nature. And to these questions, there is no easy answer. So it just turns it into something that is being observed as a journey that happens and that happens with a certain degree of inevitability. And the nice thing about all his movies is there's a certain main character, and it's the same in all movies. It's this little girl that is basically Heidi, and I suspect that happened because he, when he did um, uh, field work for working on the Heidi movies, back then the Heidi animations, before he did his own movies, he uh, traveled to Switzerland and South, uh, Western, uh, Southeastern Europe and the Adriatic and so on. And got an idea about a certain aesthetic and a certain way of life that informed his, his future thinking. And Heidi has a very interesting relationship to herself and to the world. There is nothing that she takes for herself. She is in a way fearless because she is committed to a service to a greater whole. Basically, she is completely committed to serving God. And it's not uh, an institutionalized God. It has nothing to do with the Roman Catholic Church or uh, something like this. But in some sense, Heidi is an embodiment of the spirit of European Protestantism. Mm -hmm. It's this idea of a being that is completely perfect and pure. And it's not a feminist vision because she is um, not a girl boss or something like this. <laughs> uh, she is the justification for the men in the audience to protect her, to build a civilization around her that makes her possible. Mm. Right? So she is not uh, just the sacrifice of Jesus, who is, uh, is innocent and therefore nailed to the cross. She is not being sacrificed. She is being protected by everybody around her who recognizes that she is sacred. And there are enough around her to, mm -hmm. uh, to see that. Right? So that's, that's a very interesting perspective. There's a certain notion of innocence. And this notion of innocence is not universal. It's not in all cultures. Right? Hitler was an innocent. His idea of, it, of Germany was not that there is an innocence that is being protected. There was a predator that was going to triumph. Yeah. And it's also something that is not at the core of every religion. There are many religions which don't care about innocence. They might care about um, increasing um, the, the status of something. Mm -hmm. right? And that's a very interesting notion that is quite unique and I'm not claiming it's the optimal one. It's just a particular kind of aesthetic, which I think makes uh, Miyazaki into the most relevant Protestant philosopher today. And you're saying in, in terms of, uh, of, all the, of all the ways that a society can operate, perhaps the preservation of innocence um, might, be one, might be one of the best. It, no, it's just uh, my aesthetic. So Your it's, aesthetic. It's, it's, gotcha. a, it's a particular way in which I feel that I relate to the world that is natural to my own socialization. And maybe it's not an accident that yeah. I uh, have cultural roots in, in Europe, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> in a particular world. And yeah. so maybe it's a natural convergence point and it's not something that you will find in all other times in history.